Romans chapter 12, verse 12 says, Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Isaiah 40, 31, But those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Psalm 27, verse 14, Wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart, and wait for the Lord. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Here we are on Election Day plus one, and we continue to wait for news on who has won the presidential race. And with all the angst and concern and uncertainty that has been a part of this process, it's good to know that regardless of what happens, God is still on the throne. The Lord is sovereign, and we can put our trust, our faith, and our hope in the Lord. It is my prayer that we would invest this day waiting and taking heart, praying, and having our strength renewed in the Lord and not in anyone or anything else. Once again, I'm excited to remind you of our indoor, in-person worship services. Uh, on Sunday, November 15th, we will begin meeting indoors at PCC. We will be offering two identical worship services, one at 9 a.m. and one at 10.15 a.m. We're asking you to make reservations online and join us as we worship together. For those not yet comfortable meeting inside, our 1015 a.m. worship service will continue to be live streamed on our digital platforms. The staff has been working diligently to create a safe, welcoming, and exciting worship experience for everyone. So after you review the information, if you have any questions, please let us know. Also, I wanted to make you aware that if you are interested in serving during our indoor in-person gatherings, there are opportunities to do so. You can help us be a tangible presence of God's grace to all as we serve together. So I encourage you to check out the information on these opportunities coming out this week and then let us know. Uh, we are excited and yet we're humbled by this opportunity to meet together again. And we hold all of these plans with an open hand. As we do so, we ask for your prayers for wisdom and discernment on behalf of the staff and the ministry leaders, leadership team, volunteers, and for each other as we continue to move forward, seeking to fulfill our mission of helping people discover and experience the life-changing love of Christ. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this beautiful day and this week. We look forward to engaging with you live online this Sunday at 1015. Peace be with you.